International Star Wars, Wars Day, East Broncos. Broncos. I'm Rashid. And I'm Abdul. And this is Bronco TV. It's Wednesday, May 4th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one, one state, state under God, one and indivisible. Standing for a moment of silence. You may now be seated. Now for our East Community News. Students of Capel Middle School East, it is up to you to decide who will lead the Student Council next year. Student Council officer elections open on Monday and will remain open until Friday. Check your school G updates to find a link to campaign speeches in a form where you can cast your vote. These officers will represent the student body next year. If you choose to apply to be a Stuco representative next year, they will be the ones leading the way. Please vote by Friday. Just a friendly reminder, students need to check their lunch accounts to make sure that all the negative balances are paid off by the end of the year. There are less than 20 yearbooks available for purchase this school year. Once they are out, there will be no extras available. Bring $60 cash only to Ms. Banks' room 908 if you want to reserve a copy. There's an East Sustainability Club meeting tomorrow afternoon in the library. Members will be discussing the application process for our next leadership team, so don't miss out. Friday is school lunch hero day. Don't forget to stop by the cafeteria to thank our heroes for all they do to provide us with delicious and nutritious meals. Attention Literature Club members! There will be a Literature Club meeting today in room 807 at 3.40 p.m. Next up, we have the East Sports News. Last week, the Lady Broncos soccer team took on the Tidwell Titans. A team took the field first and put up a solid fight. Tidwell came out strong and ready to attack. The Lady Broncos were able to hold them to zero points. Shout out to the defense for staying strong and keeping the Titans from scoring. The match ended in a draw with the score of 0-0. B-team came out to get the first goal of the evening for both teams. They fought once again against some win but kept fighting. They fought for every ball and every chance to be able to get the ball down the field. Midfielders did a great job playing both sides of the field. Once again, the Lady Broncos held Tidwell to 0 points. Final score was a draw, 0-0. The Lady Broncos have two games remaining this season. Please come out and watch them this Friday as they take on the Medellin here at home at 5 p.m. And next up, we have the joke of the day. What do you call a tree you can fit in your hand? A palm tree. We're trying Star Wars Goldfish, limited edition. May the force be with you. This is a like really good goldfish with a little bit of Jedi sauce. 8.2 out of 11.9. It tastes like regular goldfish, 10 out of 10. It tastes like regular goldfish, 7 out of 10. It tastes like regular goldfish, 10 out of 10. It tastes like normal goldfish, 10 out of 10. May the Lord be with you! Today for lunch we have great garlic butter cheese pizza, gorgeous garlic butter pepperoni pizza, sweet butter corn, crazy Caesar salad, assorted fruit, and assorted milk. A big happy birthday to 6th grader Denia Gilmore, 7th graders San Huder, Skyla Hill, Ryan Hill, and 8th grader Zachary Saunders. A big happy early birthday to 6th graders Justin Lau, Connor Jones, Nina Shridhaj, Scarlett Steffens, and Yun Zhao. 7th graders McKenna Carroll, Rohan Karad, Ella Trivathan, Stetson Holmes, and Karthika Dayanan. 8th graders Ankita Weba, Ivana Marier Castro Liel, and Maida Kanamar Laputi. That's all we have for you today. But don't forget, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Bronco! Day.